President Biden has just arrived in Tel Aviv, Israel this morning, where he's kicking off his first trip to the Middle East since taking office. A lot is on the president's agenda over the next four days as he meets with Israeli and Palestinian leaders and then ends his tour in Saudi Arabia. It comes as inflation and high gas prices are a key focus for the president here at home. Our deputy political director, Avery Harper, joins me live now in Jerusalem for more on this. Uh, Avery, kind of all ties in, right? As we look at oil and gas prices here at home, that relates very much to what's happening in the Middle East. So how is the president trying to take that on? And what did you think of his remarks? Right. Well, I'll start with his remarks. He really gave a, a good overview of what his objectives are uh, for this trip. He talked about uh, reiterating and reaffirming uh, the U.S.'s support for Israel. He talked about uh, deepening connections and relationships between uh, Israel and uh, other nations in the region. He talked about uh, combating anti-Semitism uh, in, in the U.S. and abroad. Uh, so it was a really good overview of, of his uh, objectives for this trip. And uh, it is all in the backdrop uh, of high gas prices at home. Uh, we know that uh, President Biden said he is not going to ask the Saudis when he meets with them later this week uh, directly to increase production on oil. And experts say that the Saudis don't really have any sort of silver bullet to uh, lower gas prices anyway. Uh, but the president himself has called the Saudis and their energy resources vital to combating the impact of the Russian war uh, in Ukraine. And so uh, we expect for that to be a topic of discussion. And, and Avery, it's taken the president almost eight 18 months to make this visit. What took so long? Uh, well, if you talk to uh, the Biden administration, the national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, said earlier today uh, that this might be uh, President Biden's first trip uh, as president. But he has been here uh, 10 times. Uh, Vice President, excuse me, President Biden has met with every Israeli prime minister for the past 48 years. And so uh, he has deep experience uh, in this region uh, and he is coming to reaffirm uh, that support for Israel and to deepen connections across the region. All right. And we will be following the president's trip every step of the way. Avery Harper, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.